Well, we have reached 1,000 subscribers. Now, this is something I never really imagined, but that's what everyone says. Of course, it is by God's providence that this goal was reached, coming off a really good interview of Scott Hahn the other day. That's something that I really didn't imagine would happen. Me, myself, being a Catholic convert, not even one year old yet. My baptism was on November 22nd. That would be another go to reach one year of being a convert. However, this will also be my formal announcement, informal announcement, that I will be stepping down from this channel. Now, I say that kind of lightly, of course. I am creating a second YouTube channel. That will be more so for my personal vlogs, those personal videos of mine, my in real life content. I want to pursue that, to grow that, to go out to college campuses and give away a hundred Bibles or something like that, to ask strangers about the Catholic faith. Those very interesting, unique videos. I want to have a separate place to really develop that, to keep it all together. Now, the long-term viewers have probably already noticed that the general direction of this channel has been changing in the last three or four months. We've been including clips from other Catholics, other Catholic voices. Some of these people, as you might have noticed with the Beautiful Thing podcast by Angela Ward, she is currently just a podcaster. And so what we did was we approached her and said, we can put your content on YouTube. A lot of people don't really want to worry about the advertising, the actual video making that it takes to have a YouTube channel. So there's all kinds of good content out there that needs a home on YouTube. And that's what we want to make this channel a central place on this website. A newspaper channel of sorts that anyone can kind of publish on. Keeping in the general theme, as long as it's good content, of course. Now, Mother Angelica right there behind me, it took her a multi-thousand dollar studio to really accomplish what EWTN still is. We can do it simply just uh, here in my apartment, alongside all the other volunteers. Uh, thanks to them who have also supported this company, helped it grow in its own respective directions. We have a sacred music branch, an article branch, tons and tons of different aspects and facets. I encourage everyone to go check out the website to really see all of those. We're getting better about kind of tying it all together and organizing it. We want to do many interesting things with this company, taking it into the next level of digital evangelization. There are many, many good things ahead in the future. So all in all, Thank you for your continued support. This company has been around since April 6th of 2022. I will tell the story of how Catholicism for the modern world came about another time. I've said before that doing work like this, taking on an apostolate, really changes the person. They develop many different virtues. Just each day they're tackling new problems and solving them as well. And so... That has been my experience just with running this YouTube channel. Growing in virtue as St. Francis was building up the church, he was building up his own soul. And that is what this has all felt like. It has not been easy, but by the grace of God, it has went very smoothly. And it is constantly rewarding to see how the internet can be used for good and for evangelization. Now, thank you all. And may God bless you. Pour it. So you're forward, then zoom up and focus. Focus on that.